in our generation, there's many people that are very, very spiritually sensitive. Uh, I wouldn't say in the role of Kubalim, but there are people in our generation that are like, you know, that they'll look at you, they'll know everything about you. Uh, Kabbalah teaches, not like Zohar, Kabbalah teaches that everything that's going on with a person's soul is all on, centered in the forehead. That's where the Neshama is. It's sitting, well, the Neshama is in the entire body, but the main part of the Neshama is in the forehead. That's why the Indians say they have, we have here the third eye, but that's where the actual soul is. And very spiritual, sensitive people can look at your forehead and they see everything. And they can see, you know, each action that you do has a letter and combinations of letters. And uh, totally off the subject, each action that you do has a, uh, either one letter to it or a combination of different letters. This guy was writing letters. Just yeah? Letters. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. It was very creepy. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so, no, what I mean is that, let's say, for example, you do each, each mitzvah that you do, has a combination of letters. I don't know if, don't know if you ever, one of you opened the mezuzah, completely opened the cloth, the parchment. In the back, there's different combinations of letters. That's how you really know that's a real kosher mezuzah. So, each act that you do has like a combination of letters that when you read it doesn't make sense. But when you do that act, these combinations of letters are on your forehead. So, every time you do a mitzvah, so the mitzvah takes you a second, a minute, two minutes, whatever, that combination of letters are, are on your forehead for that amount of time that you're in the mitzvah. So you're putting filling on, it's an hour, you have the letters here. You're doing, I don't know, uh, you're benching, you have these combinations of letters. The, uh, but once you've done that mitzvah, then those, those letters disappear. And it says, it's totally off the subject, but it says, you know, on tzedakah, it's, there's a pasuk in Tehillim that says tamod la'ad, that his righteousness will stand forever. The mitzvah of tzedakah, when you do it, the letter stays the whole entire week. So if you give now a quarter, that letter that of that specific mitzvah, which is a tzaddik, stays on your forehead for an entire week. That's why it says tzidkato medet la'ad, that the, the merit of the, the, the great mitzvah stays for the entire, for, for ever and ever. But even that letter, the impression, stays on your hand for the whole entire week. Your, your let's call it in the language of the going, your aura is shining that specific letter. So every act that we do, sometimes you do a very big act of kindness. You walk into work or whatever. People look at you, wow, you look great. What did you did something with your hair? No, I didn't do anything. I just did a big mitzvah. And people, some people look at it. They see it. So great Mekubalim, they look at you, they don't look at your eyes, they look at your forehead and they can read exactly what's going on with you. That's, that's how he said, it's kind of creepy because somebody looks at you, they know everything about you. So there are a lot of people in our generation, there are non-Jews that are very sensitive, they look at you, or they, they feel things, they hear things. It's, it sounds creepy, but it's, it's, it happens.